hello, people of the internet. Um, my name is Noelle. That sleepy boy over there is my service dog, Jax. Um, this is our channel, A Helping Pot. Um, what I want to document today is my experience with a heart monitor. So I have to wear it for 14 days. This is day one. Um, I've been home for about an hour after it was been placed. Um, and this is it right here. Um, basically I push the center piece there, which is a button, and that'll kind of make a signal saying, hey, this is when my symptoms started. Um, along with that, I do have an app on my phone where I'm going to be documenting all of my symptoms and what exactly was going on and for how long and all of that fun stuff. And then hopefully they'll be able to link the two and see what exactly is going on with my body. Um, so far it's not bad. It's a little itchy. Um, which I guess is to be expected, um, but other than that, it's not super uncomfortable as of yet. Um, I feel really gross because I couldn't shower for two days before, and now I can't shower for another two days just because that allows it to adhere to my skin better. Um, but other than that, it's not too bad. Um, so we'll see how this journey goes. Um, it's more so for my documentation more than anything else, but if you want to join along, <laughs> let's do it. Um, so yeah, this is day one with my heart monitor. Good morning, people of the internet. This is day two of my friendly little heart monitor here. Um, I am struggling a little bit with it. Um, I had a really hard time falling asleep last night. I was afraid I was going to hit the button or I was going to rip it off or something weird was going to happen. Um, so it took me a really long time to fall asleep and then I didn't go into a really deep sleep which was really frustrating because I'm like exhausted. Um, I did document my first symptom yesterday with the app um, and it was really simple. It's pretty straightforward so I will attach a picture of that. Um, but so far so good. Um, my skin like under this particular tab feels really bunched up. Um, I don't know if that's just because of how the nurse placed it or if that's like how it's supposed to be or what exactly that's about. But it's only on this side, it's not so much on that one. And you can kind of see my skin is like red from me like itching and po poking at it, which I probably shouldn't be. Um, but other than that, it's not super bad. I feel disgusting and I'm gonna go try and shower with this and see how that goes. Um, based off of what the app said and the booklet and my nurse, as long as I don't stand like directly with the water hitting it, I should be fine. Um, but I'm gonna go <laughs> take a shower and hope I don't like electrocute myself or something, so. Hello friends, this is day four, four or five of the heart monitor. Um, if you can't tell, I've showered. This is actually the second shower that I have done with the heart monitor. Um, I didn't make any comments after the initial one. Um, so far it's doing okay. Um, it did shift down after my shower, which is common and fine, I guess. Um, but I have noticed that this side is definitely not as like well attached <laughs> as the other one is. Um, and same thing that I've kind of discussed before, my skin just feels really bunched up and itchy and irritated. Um, but we're getting through. We're, we're getting there. So I'll be really impressed if it stays on until the end of my two weeks. But so far, so good. Hello friends, it is day six of the heart monitor. Um, I showered a little earlier and this patch has definitely slid further down, um, especially on this side. And it has also started to like peel off. Um, my skin on that side is real red and irritated, but I did call the hotline and they said that it should be fine as long as it doesn't slide further and it doesn't peel back furthermore. I should be able to wear it for the full 14 days. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the situation. I think I'm gonna try and shower as little as possible between now and then, just because I feel like the water further irritates it and moves it. So it's kind of a bummer, but 
what can you do? So I am just really itchy and irritated and ready for this to be over. So that's what's going on. Yay. As you can see, the heart monitor definitely started to not stick to my skin as well. It was really irritating to wear and I definitely had to be more aware of what kind of shirts I was wearing just because some of them would rub it a wrong way and make it more irritated. Overall, my skin was definitely very red and uncomfortable and like physically hot to the touch. Um, and this is basically why I ended up taking the monitor off a day earlier. On the 13th day of me wearing the heart monitor, it consistently started flashing at me, as you can kind of see it doing in the video. Basically, this was it telling me that it's not getting a good reading because it's not connected to my body well enough. And I ended up calling the hotline three times that day trying to think of different ways to get it to stay on. And in the end, we decided that 13 days was enough data and decided to just take it off because it would not re-adhese to my skin. Hello, people of the internet. It has been a hot second. It's been a hot moment. Um, this is my second day without my heart monitor, maybe even my third. Um, it's no longer on my person, no longer on my body, which is phenomenal. Um, I ended up taking it off Sunday evening at like 9 o'clock. All day Sunday it was having issues and was blinking and angry and just not happy. So I spent an hour with customer service on the phone and basically decided to take it off a day early. They'd have enough information and it would be fine. So I did that. Um, there's some minor skin irritation where it was but it's not nearly as bad as it was when it was on. Um, so, that's awesome. Worst part of it is over. Hopefully it gives us some information that's actually beneficial and it wasn't just a waste of my time and money. Um, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. They said it was gonna be like two weeks before they had any results because it is such an extensive amount of data. Um, but it's said and done, it's over. <laughs> Did it, done it good, we're good. Um, so yeah, that is the update on what that situation looks like right now. Um, so as soon as I know more, I'll let you guys know more too. Toodles!